Forty four game. Hit me like Texas. Texas. Stand up, let it go. Y'all see, got baby back here. You know what I'm saying? She about ready to see what her makeover finna be. What's crazy? I ain't talking to Jay about no pricing, no none of that. I gotta go talk to him. Uh, so, realistically, yeah. if it's, if it, what's up? What's going on? Realistically, if it's, uh, Ten. So, man, me and Jay just, uh, me and Jay just chopped it up about how we gonna wrap the car. Um, can't wait to see how it's gonna come out, man. Can't wait to see how it's gonna come out, but we, dropping it off now it's official you know what i mean i know y'all been waiting on this you know what i'm saying so it's officially done he gonna um huh oh yeah everybody everybody gonna miss this one that's that's why that's one thing that had me scared because if it don't outdo this one then it's gonna be like oh man you should have kept it how you had it yeah so this one is gonna be uh this one is gonna be better, man. 
gonna be better. But uh, we gonna um, I gotta get going, man. I got my pops waiting on me. Hey, Jay, I want you to meet my my dad. Got my uh, got my pops waiting on me, man. So we finna get up out of here. But uh, y'all stay tuned, man. I'm finna this. Finish. We gonna I'm gonna add some else to this video. Y'all stay tuned. So gang, gang, man, we back another day, same video. You understand me? So as y'all seen, I took my car to the rap shop. Pretty much saying goodbye to my car, man. Uh, I, like I said, I've never been without my car for a week, man, and it's gonna be uh, a little longer than a week that I'm without it. But um, yeah, so we saying goodbye to that one, and it's time to start working on this one, man. Um, so right now I'm actually headed to get my Dodge Magnum uh, fixed. A lot of people been asking me what's going on with the Dodge Magnum, this and that, what's going on. Well, let me tell y'all what happened, man. So the, the thing, what happened was I got a mechanic, right? So my mechanic, um, I called my mechanic. Uh, he was going, he was going to work on it. He told me to drop it off on uh, uh, Monday. He told me to drop it off that Monday. Come Saturday, uh, he he wasn't feeling good. You know what I mean? Saturday he wasn't feeling good. So um, come Sunday, well Saturday he went back. He went and got tested for COVID. It came back Sunday. And I found out Monday, the day that I was supposed to drop the car off, that he had COVID. And um, so we had to put a pause on it because obviously if he if, uh, if he got COVID and not feeling well, man, he got to take care of himself. He got to quarantine. So we had to, uh... hey, let me show y'all something. Bro, look at all them Tahoes, bro. All them are Tahoes and GMCs. Can y'all see that? All Tahoes and GMCs, man, the 2021 models. Them joints is fire, bro. Them joints is fire. It's like a thousand of them over there. There's a whole lot of them over there. Then there's some more on down there, too. Yeah, but I had to show y'all that. Um, don't be talking about my chest hairs, man. Y'all remember the video, him White made me go wax my chest. My hair grew back like dumb. Like, it, it grow weird now. I gotta show you that back out. Anyway, I just only spoke on it because it's right here in your face. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sitting here looking at it through the camera. That's why I wouldn't focus on y'all, but I'm looking at my chest there. But, um, so, yeah, he had quarantine. He had the quarantine and all this and that. So, come to find out, three weeks later after that, which was last week, I called my pops. I'm like, hey, how you spoke to, uh, his name was Calvin. How you spoke to Calvin? Uh, he, is he good now for us? Me dropping my car off, start working on it. And man, my daddy said, the day I called him, the, that day he had died that morning. So uh, that's that's sad, that's unfortunate, man. Um, prayers up to him and his family. I met his brother, cause his brother was the one that was gonna fix my AC. So prayers to their family, man. But that's sad, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that happened. And it was crazy because it was the day I called to see if I could drop my car off. My dad was like, man, he just died this morning. I'm like, ah, oh, that's crazy. But uh, yeah, man, hey, everybody just stay safe and stay, uh, stay safe and stay, stay prayed up. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I'm saying? Let's just best, best, best we can because with the COVID situation, bro, it's, I was talking about this with my coworker, man. It's almost nothing you can do. Um, a mask is not going to keep you from getting COVID, bro, because at the end of the day, if you touch something, you know what I'm saying, that and that that germ is on whatever it is you touch, the mask ain't going to, once you get home, you gonna, you touch your face, you don't sanitize your hands, you know what I'm saying, and you're out of there, so, and it's, it's worse, man, so, let's just stay prayed up. The only thing that's going to keep you safe in this situation is prayer. Don't worry about no mask. I ain't going to tell you don't wear no mask, but pray, man. That's how you got to pray. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that's going to... God's the only one that can keep you safe in this situation because an airborne situation like this is like... It's crazy. But, um... Back to what we was talking about, man. I'm actually on my way to get my magnum fixed. As y'all can see, I'm in the magnum right now. One is down because the AC is not working. So, hopefully, uh, my guy can fix the AC. You know what I'm saying? We'll, 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 we'll see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But I'm on the way over there right now. Um, as soon as I get there, I will turn the camera back on. You know what I'm saying? I'll let y'all look at the Magnum too, because y'all ain't seen it in a while. So, uh, yeah, we'll make sure we get that taken care of today. 
So let's get over there, man. And let's see what the news is gonna be about this Dodge Magnum, man. Like I said, it's time to start working on this one. Right now, goodbye to the old one. Well, not the old one, <laughs> I'm sorry. Right now, I'm sorry, Smurfit. Right now, goodbye to my baby, man. And say hello to my, my, I'm gonna call this my, this my ratchet right here. It's my ratchet, this my ratchet baby right here. You know what I'm saying? She ratchet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, man, yeah, we almost there. So I get there, I turn the camera back on, man. Yo, uh. Man, look at this, man. Look, I took the, they took this off, right? Look at this. That's all the, is going through my intake, bro. Like, bruh, if I ain't mistaken, this engine was supposed to be good. Well, obviously, you can look at it and tell it probably wasn't good, but wasn't nothing wrong with it. Look, we done rigged stuff up. Look at that screw in there. <laughs> Boy, this car got work to do. Got some work to do on this joint. But look at that, man. That's crazy. That ain't supposed to be doing that. Then we had to put a then we had to put cardboard in here because it's leaking power steering. Y'all see that power steering leaking? You can see the see it right there. It's leaking power steering. That's one reason why I hadn't been driving it. Now I just keep power steering in the car. You know what I'm saying? But y'all see the body on it is the body on it is pretty much good, man. The body on it is good. You know what I'm saying? The body is the body is good. Take this like, ooh, that's cooked in there. God dog. That's bad. Oh, uh, I just gotta get this piece right here. That little y'all see that little piece? That little piece missing, gotta get that piece. But other than that, the body is good on it. Ain't nothing too wrong with it. Y'all can tell it's set up. All this. It's crazy. So we getting it all. Getting it all going, man. Got it tore apart. Charging, I think. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what we doing. He know I don't. <laughs> but uh, getting it all going, man. So hopefully AC be working out this. Bro, he took my AC line off. Anybody that know about cars, he took my my line off. And man. Earth shot up out of there. I'm talking about like shot out like he had to jump out the way. You know what I'm saying? Like pounds of pressure shot out of there, bro. It was crazy. It was loud and everything. Anybody that know anything about that, y'all know what I'm talking about. It was just my line was just filled with earth. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully we'll be blowing cold when I leave here today, man. We're going to see. If it say 300, that means you got a misfire internally in the engine. And yeah. It, it's a, that's a cylinder number five. It's a cylinder number five. Let me go back down. Yeah, this say still say cylinder number five. Yeah, I'm all this. Okay, let me start from the top. Intake air temperature sensor. Circuit high. That's why I just changed here on, on that shit right there. Mm -hmm. It probably like um, probably like thirty dollars. Then you got the EGRA control sensor. You got the thermostat, whatever the fuck that is. Rationary. Probably need a new thermostat. Yeah. That's probably what that is. Then you got the same intake air. Don't worry about that because it's the same code. Then you got the same shit, EGRA control sensor. Probably just two sensors in the spark plug. All right, see, it's got a misfire and number three. Yeah. So that them spark plugs, mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I said I know I need to tune up. It's drinking way too much gas. It's like crazy. And then you got a multiple cylinder misfire that's that's the two spark plugs yeah when i say multiple yeah i mean more than one then it's a evaporated system small leak i think that's uh could that be a crack in my manifold see probably why i got all that shit hooked up 
Once okay. I hook up all that shit back, and then I run the run the test again. So I think I got a, I think I got a crack in my manifold too. I was supposed to be changing it. Yeah, them goddamn spark plugs. Really, I change spark plugs. Uh, really, I just do all them bitches bother you. Yeah, that's what uh, I would probably do. Shit, you can't do if you do one, the other one's gonna fuck up too. Right. Uh, what is it, V eight? Uh, no, nah, it's a V six. Oh, okay. Well, that shit, my way to just do all six on that time. Yeah, but shit. But shit, they ain't a little minor shit. It ain't nothing major. So it's blowing a little bit colder, man, but the problem is, y'all see that thing right there. That deal right there. What this call again? Expansion valve. That expansion valve. So it's, it's blocking blocking all my good air from coming through there, man. Everything is good. Uh -huh. Like it was? Yeah. Uh, that, that, them thing get rusty quick. Check another uh, dodge. So the, the, he said the compressor good. Uh, yeah, magnet. The compressor good. It was holding the charge. Everything good except for that expansion valve right there. I got to get another one of them back there. And uh, I'll be all the way cold. But right now, it's just... What's it, 2007? 2006. Okay. But right now, it's just blowing just a little bit cold. Where I can't... It, I say I can have windows up at about 80. About 80, 80 degrees outside, 85 degrees outside. I can still have the windows up. Anything hotter than that, I'm out of there. <laughs> <laughs> the windows gotta be all the way down. I was good on the way over here though. It wasn't hot at all. It wasn't hot at all. But uh that's good. All the all the big stuff is good, like that compressor. That compressor would have been bad. Shh, that would've hurt my pockets. That's gonna hurt your pockets. You know what I'm saying? Any anything with the AC gonna be high. Hopefully that hopefully I can get that valve right there. For not not too high. But I gotta get it so. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to take your bitch off. That valve? It's two different versions. I'm gonna show you two two different versions. You see you see that version? Mm -hmm. See how the holes are small and that version the hole is big. Mm -hmm. And behind that screw is two screws that bolted into the uh fire frame. Yeah. And, um, that's how that was. I had to really had to go get some screws from Home Depot and mount it, mount it in the back because maybe they, I mean I don't think it probably should matter. As long as it, it really it can go loose because them them two holes gonna hold it up. Yeah, them, the return are right not coming getting cold. So we back in the car, man. As y'all can see, I got my windows up. <laughs> windows up, man. Shout out to my guy. He got my AC going for me. Um, but the thing is, it's more parts that I need, as y'all seen. So uh, I'm going to get out of those parts, and I'm going to take the car back over there and drop it off to him um, uh, probably Tuesday. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to drop it off to him Tuesday and let him fix it on Wednesday. Um, and yeah, we're gonna see if everything be right, everything come out right. Which he pretty much sure that that's the part that's uh, not giving me all my AC. But right now it's blowing cold, it's blowing cool. It's blowing, it's, it's blowing cold enough where I ain't hot or none of that right now, it's good. So um, yeah, so this is the start of the Magnum build, man. We're gonna start working on this Magnum. I got some ideas and some things coming that I want to do to this car, so we're gonna do that. Um, but like I said, shout out to him for getting me, uh, getting me right. And like I, y'all don't know this, and I can't really show y'all this, but I can tell y'all, bro, my car drinks gas. This car drank gas more than the Hellcat does, and I know it's because I hope the AC not loud. If it is, I'm gonna turn it down. Um, I hope it's not. Because of uh, uh, my, I got a little crack in my manifold. 
I hope this is not the reason, but I'm thinking it's the reason. Um, I'm thinking my spark plugs is the reason. You know what I mean? My spark plugs got to be the reason. So I need to, uh, I'm just going to change all the spark plugs. I got a misfire in like two or three of them. So um, like I said, the car set up five years, five to six years. And you know what I'm saying? After the car set up like that, you know, you got to change stuff. You got to get stuff done that I haven't got done. I haven't got my brake fluid changed. My car don't really stop like it supposed to, even though I changed the brakes but I haven't changed the fluid and the fluid is black. You know what I'm saying? So I got to change that. Um, got a couple more things to do before we actually start the build process, but this is stuff that got to be done before. But I got some stuff I want to do to it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all stay tuned for that. Um, but right now, uh, we headed back to the crib, man. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all go to hemilife44.com and get your merch, man. Make sure y'all follow the podcast, Fifth Quarter Podcast. Yeah, so that's gonna be a wrap for this video, man. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, and browse. We're going up all 2021. But y'all know how I end all my videos. In the meantime, in between time, to the next video, holla at your boy, man. Yes, sir.